Alright guys, we are here back more near Automata. We finished playthrough A last time. We're gonna be starting playthrough B. So let's go. Um let's get a load in this one. Yeah, um, yeah, I mean, there's not much, like, uh, I didn't stream, I, I didn't record any yesterday because I did end up streaming at night, and I really wanted to get my AC Revelations retrospective done, so I spent the entire day pretty much editing that, um, so that's why I didn't record yesterday, uh, so yeah, it's been, uh, two days since I recorded. <coughs> Do we start off with this? Huh. Yeah, um, so it is Friday morning. Uh, I do have today off. But I do have some stuff going on tonight. But, uh, for now, obviously, don't have anything going on, so. <laughs> Frame rate dropped. I do remember this. I thought this was at the end of, like, towards the end of this playthrough for some reason, not the beginning. Where's the container? I know there's a bucket somewhere, right? Yeah, but yeah, um, so I did stream last night. Uh, to be honest, I'm, kind of, I'm still pretty tired. I'm not really, uh, too incentivized to go too long here. Uh, but I did want to record an episode or two. Uh, and again, I'll be busy this afternoon. There's the bucket. So, uh, yeah. Now I work the next two days, so. Yeah, we'll see how everything goes. But, but I probably won't stream again until Monday, so. Um, so, I mean, I will be playing some Nier from, for the next few days. Uh, I'll probably try to finish playthrough B by uh, Sunday. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how much I'll be able to record. Oh, shit. I'm. I'm Okay, well. Um, yeah, by like next time I stream, I should say. So I guess Monday would be included in that. Um, yeah, I would like to finish. Wait, what? Do not trip. Oh, like these things are tripping us up? So, I mean, yeah, that's uh, kind of what the plan is for the next few days. I'll probably try to edit my uh, Winning Final Trouble performance video. Probably try to get that done by Monday. Because it's long. So, yeah. Um, it's kind of the next few days. Yeah, here, right? There we go. Yeah, whenever we finish in here, I'll also write the script Doesn't for it. How much oil you give him, little guy? You can't make a machine your brother. Why do we have to play as that? All right, I get the. Well, I get the symbolism and everything. Looks like it's time. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, since we're here, I might as well listen to podcasts. Um, so let's go listen to the live feed update Operator for Big Brother. To unit 9S. Come in, 9S. Uh, 9S here. Go ahead. The Yorha troops have commenced their descent. 
Disable the enemy base's defense systems immediately. Roger that. happening uh he's he's very worried very worried that he's gonna touch the block this week he's always worried it's very funny to me how nervous he gets after after this hoh finishes up um i do think that a little bit warranted but also you can't immediately be going in with that mindset but you're also big d so i'm not surprised so I ran through a couple of motions when I saw this play out. I was like, I expect Alert. it, but also I don't want to Proceed see it. With mission yeah. Uh, Derek is going to talk with Kylan. They discussed that, uh, the, again, the, the deal there with X post-dropping uh, is not binding. Kylan thinks that Derek should stick to Wait, what? what they had talked about. Oh, uh, I, I Now, if, if we're going to give uh, one person the most amount of credit for uh, putting the idea in Derek's Wait, mind, what it, I should up after by Christian, it should should be Kylan. Um, Kylan is the one that init initially got him off of the idea of uh, full-on targeting Sarah Beth um, and pushed him more toward the idea of targeting Christian. Um, Kylan's goal for the week, essentially, is to uh, keep okay. Derek on the path of backdoor and Christian this week. That's what Kylan wants. That's oh, that very good for Kylan. Uh, so uh, we'll that see if that goes through. That's um, kind of funny. But, uh, but he's going to encourage Derek X uh, here. Like, yeah, you know what, what, what we talked about, I think, is the, the right call. And, and I, you know, I don't think this needs to be said, but Kylan's a smooth operator. So when Kylan talks to you and comes at you and it's Derek X that he's talking with and they have this camaraderie, I feel relatively good about Kylan's abilities. This HOH is very interesting for many reasons, but I think the biggest one is that it's pretty much a custody battle between Tiffany and Kylan and who is going to win so over this again? Uh, Derek X in this, in this week. Well, uh, there's going to be a lot of conversations about, like, uh, we should be good. We, sh this should, we, we should be okay. Uh, between the Royal Flush, um, the detectives, um, the, uh, the people, the, even the Jokers beyond uh, Big D all feel like, yeah, we're pretty good. Um, Aza says that she trusts Derek a lot. Uh, so you'd think that she's saying that uh, that she would be pretty good, but uh, but this is Aza. So Aza's version of "I feel very good about Derek X's the HOH" is, "I'll go up as a pawn." That's how good I feel. That is the formula, though. I'm pretty sure if you feel very much like you trust someone, you put your game in their hands immediately and say, "Put me on the block. I'm fine with that." It's what I would call the reverse Britney where Brittany gets put up as a pawn legitimately against someone that will definitely go and hates every bit of it and feels betrayed. Aza doesn't even know who she might be sitting next to. I'm okay with it. Put me up. I feel good about Derek X. Again, Aza plays very differently than how I think any of us would have imagined, but it's nice to have... Let me be clear. It's nice to have someone like this because it adds the level of randomness to the game that may not always be there depending on who's left in the house. Yeah, maybe. Um, so, uh, there's, um, there's a bunch of different celebrations that happen in the storage room. So we might uh, many different configurations. Like, uh, it's funny, because, like, they're all fans. Uh, so they all want to have the, uh, the storage room celebration. Um, and they all know that if you don't have the storage room celebration, then you know, if you're not having the behind-the-door sellies, then, you know, uh, are you really with them? Uh, so you, they have to do so many different <laughs> behind the Torzelli combinations. Yeah, I don't get what I'm going. Like, I, someone did a montage of it, tuned in with the Turn It Up song this? from the feed from night one. So that really worked. It was, and it was back oh. to back to back. Oh, it was I didn't like see people it there. Knew that okay, my shift is done. All right, next person in the celebration ride. Okay, you come in now. And I mean, it was fun. I I very much enjoyed this because it was a combination of yes. You want the HOH, but also, oh my god, we made it to church. And if you start counting how many people were celebrating this, you're not left with many people that did not get to celebrate this moment for Derek X. Uh, Alyssa and Christian are going to talk start off the same level. It's Jerry. We're going to be okay. Um, Uh-oh. Maybe not. Hey, maybe don't celebrate yet. Yeah, they, um, they're going to do a lot of uh, canoodling uh, all night long, not a lot of uh, campaigning. No, not even a little bit. I, I, for the most part, 
Alyssa spent a lot of the, the first part of the night holding a bit of a pity party for herself. She really wanted this, she really wanted to win, get a W in her column. It doesn't happen, obviously. And she asked Christian a bunch of like, did I look okay? Was I doing well? Looking for a little reassurances. But it was a lot of cuddling. At one point, Christian was like, chess? He was like, no, cuddle me. He's like, okay. And put the chess slot in piece aside, cuddle me. It's fine. Um, Kylan is going to talk with Hannah. Uh, and again, I feel like this is so telling for me from Kylan uh, that he's like, oh, we did it. Cookout is in jury. Um, there's no way that Derek puts two cookout members. Essentially, the same thing that I said last night we'll that, uh, that maybe Derek would put one cookout member on the block, but it's very unlikely that he would put two cookout members on the block, which means the that the cookout has all made it to jury, which has always been Kylan's primary goal, in my opinion. Um, now that the cookout's in jury, that's great. What's the, what's the cookout again? No, no, yeah, we're definitely with the cookout still, but, you know, if I need to go somewhere else. But if I'm hungry for other food, like, uh, we could go there. Yeah, we'll go somewhere. See, and I like that. I like that, first of all, we're going to have a monumental jury. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. The whole cookout makes it, Derek X makes it. I love every bit of it. You have to but this it. is what I was unhappy with Tiffany for this past week, was that sounds like Tiffany's not willing to waver once they get the jury. And for her game plan, for her end game, it's not good. Now, Kylan, if that setup was to say the same, I think would still fare better than Tiffany. But if Kylan's thinking about other stuff and has other happy, options, please. I'm happy Proceed with that. You party. always got to consider all your options. And if he's looking at it that way, that is a good sign. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's going on there. Um, Derek is going to say that, uh, that he will not touch Alyssa or Xavier this week, or at least he doesn't intend to. Um, so, uh, he's got that going on for him. Um, Xavier does mention to Kylan that he was, in fact, staying up on the wall, uh, making sure that Alyssa didn't win. He was going to stay on as long as Alyssa, uh, was up there because he didn't want her to win. He was worried about who she might come after. Um, but once Alyssa was down, obviously it made sense for him to drop because, uh, he's not going to take a shot at his own team. He's going to let Derek do that. Um, and uh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. No, I think, he, again, he makes the right call. I was a little worried, because once it came down to X and, and Derek X, everything made sense that X was going to for sure fall. There was a bit of me that was a little bit worried that he might go for this, I might take it. But um, I think, especially once the X points out, hey, he won once already, let me have this one. It made all the sense in the world for him, and good on him for being able to uh, stick it out for the whole... What, what was the total runtime on one? About an hour 30? Something like that, yeah, I think so. Um, and, uh, I mean, I will say, I, I, I think that, I don't think that X needed to, to stay up there uh, as long as he did. I don't think he needed to beat out Alyssa there. He was, I mean, he's safe with Alyssa. Uh, right. And they probably could have uh, maneuvered it fine if Alyssa had won. Um, I, I think that uh, this is definitely a big showing for Xavier in terms of what he's capable of. Um, so, uh, you know, was, uh, I think he could have dropped a little sooner, sure but, uh, but I, you know, I'm, I'm happy uh, that he dropped uh, for, for Derek here. Yeah, I think of any, especially once you looked at the final five that were up on that wall, it what? was Alyssa, Derek, yeah, I'm not meaning to do Tiffany, this. Aza, Xavier. I genuinely thought that was where he was going to make his exit. Um, so for him to get to the final two of it again, it might put it put him on the radar a little bit, but he's made enough connections that he should still be fine. Um, and especially when you've got two guys who won pretty much every competition thus far, it makes you look that's good because cool. you're in the you're in third place. That's not that's podium, but that's not the best podium. Yeah, I mean it's very clear that this house is shaping up to be a situation where. Pretty much the entire the entire house is starting to look at it like this. Oh, there are four guys in this house that win the competitions. Straight up, there's, there's four guys that win. Everybody else is just playing a, a different game. Um, you got Christian, Derek X, Kylan, and Xavier. They're the competition winners. Everybody else, not really all that capable of winning many competitions, um, considering that those four guys have pretty much won every competition. Um, outside of the wild card, which, you know, 
very limited pool. Uh, those four guys have pretty much won every competition. Yeah, well, like, and, and me and Leon were talking about this last night. Um, no woman has won either HOH or Veto this season, and they've only won the wild cards. But the only wild card that was against other men that was not thrown was the Sarah Beth one. If you look at it, Tiffany and Derek X kind of had that agreement. They were sorted, and then Claire won hers against all women. So it and is Sarah very... Beth two men who are no longer there, Frenchie and Brent. Exactly. <laughs> yes, yes, key point there. The ones remaining now, they've won everything. Now, if you look at the four of them, though, Kylan won the, the, the putt putt. So I'm a little bit like, well, Kylan doesn't Our seem like he's done much. He ends up being in fourth place. You Xavier won one. Now we see his capabilities here. He's third place. DX and Christian, honestly, I think Christian's still number one. But DX is making a pretty compelling case that he should be number one based on this age that he now yeah, Christian and Derek have now both uh, the, the only, I mean, the only people that have won Vita. Yeah, Derek won two, Christian won two. Uh, they've now both won an HOH. Um, you know, it's it's very much, uh, you know, the, the only the only person who's won an HOH or Vito outside of uh, those four guys is, is French. Um, he, he won the very first HOH. Uh, that would have gone to Christian if not for his team. Uh, but yep. now Frenchie is no longer there. So it's really, it's it's those four guys are looked at, and it's primarily looked at as uh, Christian and Derek, then Kai and X. Um, and, and it's important to, to bring this up because that is, is really shaping how Whoa. the whole house is looking at thing. the strategy of the game. Firing that, missiles. Uh, you know, what are these four guys going to do? Are they going to take each other out? Are they going to, to keep each other as shields? Are they going to want to, um, you know, like, be, are Kylan and X going to want to take sure Christian he's and, dead next time. Uh, and Derek out of the game man. and then uh, ride together to the end uh, where they can beat everybody right? else? Or, uh, you know, are they I'm going to uh, continue to want to leave them in as shields, have them... You know, whatever it is, so it's all about like the these Goliath four people and the fact no, that they have been dominating these system. competitions. Yeah, well, and I think obviously, well, uh, um, I guess we have to in find modern a day, then, someone huh? brought up with Dr. Wilder. I've Wilder got a flight unit, so I'll um, take a look around but the perimeter. But in modern day, we know right. that you get I'll competitions, my way inside you the power. Ground. The more competitions the win, the more power you have to wield, the more connections you can make. And, and look at them, these four guys should arguably be all pretty well situated, and they are for the most part. But then it all comes down to, are they gonna take a shot at each other? And does this benefit them or not, right? Does it benefit these four guys to take to one, of one, one uh, another out? Or should they stay um, and hold them and try and keep each other in again, earlier. like you said, to shield each other? I think there's no clear cut answer for that, to be honest. I think for every single person of the four of them, there's a different answer for them. You know, ma'am. And it's just a matter of time and yeah. whether the time is right. Like they me, mostly work so. alone. Yeah, yeah, not enough people talk about the that. fact that, uh, that Dr. Will lost kind of fun. because he didn't win a competition. <laughs> right, in season yeah. seven. Yeah. Like, yeah. Straight up. Stop and the season he me. won had the huh? fewest amount of competitions of any season. Right, it only had HOH Two competitions. Um, so, you know, it, it, not something to, to, to really uh, put your hat on. Like, um, you know, it, it, and also his game in season seven was predicated upon the fact that uh, Janelle won all the competitions for him. Um, essentially, right. uh, as in Boogie won a bunch too. Like, uh, so, you know, uh, competitions are important. And if, if, four, if four people have won all of them, if two people have won the majority of them, I mean, again, between HOHs and vetoes, um, you have, you know, two per week. We've done four weeks plus one extra it's HOH. Nice That's nine thing. competitions total. Um, used to use it as a of those nine factory. competitions, six of them have been won by Christian or Derek X. Uh, that's two-thirds of the competitions, the HOHs and Vitos have been won by two of the, you know, initial 16 people. And one of them, again, would have been won, and here's, and here's the thing, too, uh, one of them would have been won by Christian, if not for his team, messing it up. The other one might have been won by Derek X, who threw it at the final, like, four or five of the competition, uh, because he wanted the shot to be taken in front. Uh, he might have won that one as well, and then it would have been seven, or sorry, eight of nine. Uh, the only one competition that both of them, uh, lost, although Christian threw this one as well, uh, being the crapshoot one. So, 
worth pointing out. Comps matter, honestly, and, and this, I'm like, I don't love that they matter to the extent that they do, but they, they do. The They're very factory, important. It's, it's, you know, the game is evolved, the structure is evolved, the meta is evolved, I and I think we've always matter. Right now. Mm -hmm. um, so, here's the thing when it comes to Derek X. We'll talk about this as we go. But uh, if Derek X and Christian were able to work together, genuinely work together, to the end of the game, uh, this would be a steamroll. It's a bit of a hike, but for them, yeah. Period. It's not like command to get a location. But we have to thank Frenchie. I guess even they get bad intel from time to time. Frenchie saved us from the steamroll because Frenchie, Frenchie put. He, he got them off to such a bad start. Uh, Derek and Christian got along in the first, like, two days of the game. Uh, and then out of nowhere, Frenchie, whole clock, made up. Derek X is spreading rumors about you, Christian. And then they were at each other. They, were, they didn't like each other. They were worried that they were going after each other for like a whole week until they realized Frenchie was full of nonsense. Uh, and the relationship never got repaired. And so they now have this uneasy truce uh, where, you know, Christian and Alyssa are working with Derek and Hannah. Um, obviously, they're in the Royal Flush, all of that. But the relationship has never been the same. They've never been able to really connect. Um, Christian doesn't trust Derek X. Derek X doesn't trust Christian. Um, and they constantly talk about potentially going for each other. Uh, Christian just last week when he was HOH. Why are we targeting Derek X? We could just do that. And if not for Xavier and Alyssa uh, chiming in, no, not yet. We don't want to do that. Uh, I think he might have really seriously considered it. Uh, because he's oh, always yeah. worried yeah, about this. Um, when, uh, you know, he, he, him and Alyssa have always talked about first people to go from Royal Flush, Royal Flush have to be Derek X and Kylan. Um, and that's because Christian is worried about Derek X and how good he is at competitions and has just never fully gotten along with him. Now, if they could reconcile this, if they could just get together and actually work together, uh, I think that they would flat out run this game. Um, but they can't. And that's what, that's what Cody was so good at, right? Cody recognized the competition threats, and he pulled them all in. And he said this from the very beginning. You pull all the competition threats in, you win all the competitions, you win the game. Uh, you don't need to be worried about them, uh, because he was then able to set up a structure to take them out at the end. Uh, so, uh, just an interesting sort of take on this, because, uh, you know, Keeping these competition threats uh, from teaming up is, is huge for people that are not competition threats. Yeah, definitely. And, and I mean, right now, by the makeup of the house, it looks like they've done a pretty good job of keeping them apart. And I say apart loosely because, like you said, they have been making stuff. They have been creating stuff. They are in stuff together. But it's always at a distance, and it's never very, very close. Like, Derek X does not... And Christian, in order to work this out and, and be a big thing, they would need the level of connection that Derek X has no. with Kylan, or Derek X has with Chada, or Derek X has with um, Tiffany. And they're not even close. They're not even Mine close up. to that at all. Um, and, I, and I do think that the other people around him have done a very good job of keeping them separate, of, of preventing them it's from... It's fine, I'm getting a lot more notifications. Yes, Frenchie that. did throw that lie in, Certain videos but I think everyone channel, else has done a good job of constantly making sure they pull him mm -hmm. close, and they keep well, enough space stuff. in between the two where they can't put the two and two together. And it helps that everyone is so self-interested that they oh, recognize okay. to, you know, not let this happen potentially, and to keep them more as enemies than as friends, because as friends, again, the stats speak for themselves. It would be a nightmare for anybody else to deal with. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so the night goes on. Um, Kylan is going to talk to Derek X again, kind of, you know, do his sort of vague Kylan talk where he's encouraging Derek X again to sort of like, you know, do what you want, do what's best for your game, and you know, Christian is what's best for your game. Um, and uh, and he gives him some advice about like, uh, you know, like uh, being H O H. Like when I was H O H, I did this. And, you know, he, oh, I did like this actually. Kylan said to Derek. Uh, 
Oh, oh, one more thing. Enjoy the cameras. Hot. And Derek is like, oh yeah, the camera, the surveillance camera. No, 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 no like the, 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 the live feed cameras. Uh, they're, they're on you. You can like just give them your thoughts. Uh, and they'll always come on. You. And I was like, thank you. Thank you, Kyle. And Derek X has not been a camera talker. Uh, so hopefully uh, you have encouraged him to be one. Uh, because quite frankly, Derek X needs to be a little bit more of a camera talker and a little bit less of a people talker sometimes. He's, he can be a little too honest about his, his thoughts uh, with people at times. Uh, so if he could get some of that out to the cameras instead of to other people, uh, that, that could be good. Um, so uh, I, d I appreciated that. Uh, I, I, Derek, Derek X took the advice uh, by going, first act of HOH. <laughs> Listen to music. <laughs> he's very excited for his music. He's got, I believe he said he, he had asked for late registration by Kanye. So decent album, good album. Um, I, yeah, and I think that Derek X would be someone that would benefit with the, the self uh, stewing of ideas, marination of ideas, thinking about them, but then speaking them helps you, you know, voice them out. It's, it's just like any other thing. If you're doing a speech, practice your speech. And I think by talking to the cameras, not only would he give us insight, which would be great, not only do I think he would be very good at it, but also it would allow him to potentially find the type five he needs for the conversations he will have and, and figure out what needs to be kept to himself, what needs to be given to other people. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. So... Um, that's that's really most of the night here. Um, there are going to be a couple of other conversations here or there. Colin's going to talk with Sarah Beth um, because after he leaves the HOH, Tiffany's going to go up um, and he's like, oh, Tiffany's, you know, not, not doing something weird. Uh, and Sarah's like, nah, she's probably just saying the same thing you were saying. Um, oh, yes, uh, we did forget one thing uh, almost here. Uh, it's a very funny thing that happens. Um, Tiffany and, uh, and Hannah... Uh, and Derek are talking, and um, they're talking about uh, plans for the week. What are we gonna do? And uh, and Tiffany brings up uh, the royal flush a couple times, uh, and then afterward, uh, Derek X is talking with Hannah. Um, and so initially, Derek X is telling Hannah that um, okay, I think the plan is to backdoor Christian, uh, and that I, I'm nominating probably two Jokers. Uh, that's that's the initial plan. Uh, off of Sarah Beth, we're not going to nominate Sarah Beth. We're going to nominate two Jokers, um, and uh, and Hannah is like, uh, and and this is this would keep the Royal Flush happy, right? Uh, and so Hannah's like, uh, so so what is the Royal Flush anyway? Um, and he's like, um, <laughs> it's nothing. It's just this thing. Um, and, uh, and she says, and he's like, did I just say that? Uh, and she's like, no, Tiffany was saying it earlier. Um, and, uh, he goes on to explain that, like, oh, it formed, like, last week. It's like a fake, you know, thing that the blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then, um, Hannah goes to Tiffany and asks Tiffany about the royal flush. Um, and Tiffany's like, who told you about the royal flush? And Hannah's like, you did. Like, I loved so much that neither of them really grasped that they just said Royal Flush in front of Hannah. It was so funny to me. And and what was best even is that Tiffany, once Chada or Hannah tell, tells her, um, you did, you were talking about it in front of me at DX, she was like, oh my god. But what's interesting here to peel away is that the two tidbits of information that each uh, Derek X and Tiffany give her for, the re for what this alliance is. So Derek X says, this was made last week. He doesn't tell her who created And when Chada goes over to talk to Tiffany, broaches the subject by saying, and who made the royal flesh with it? Christian or was it Alyssa? And then ultimately Tiffany tells her that it was Kai and Max. So now these are two bits of information that she has. I don't believe Tiffany gave her a timeline of how long they've been, how long that was formed. So, that's something to look out for. I think if there's anyone that's gonna sniff out some nonsense with this, it's Hannah. But also, I don't think she's completely, like, Hannah's not, like, losing her mind over this. I think Hannah's staying calm. Control system. Yeah, uh, yeah, Tiffany, Tiffany essentially said, said you know, so oh, it formed over the last two HOHs, um, and over that's why you weren't included because when Kylan started it, uh, he, he included Jimmy Derek X, but Kai didn't include you. Um, and uh, and then, you know, you know, with Xavier there, like, 
you know, it, it just made sense to That's sort of fine. like continue this whole thing. Um, but she, is, you know, so the stories did not match up exactly. Um, but they felt like it was close enough that it's probably fine. Um, but uh, it was pretty funny. Uh, it was pretty funny. The, uh, who told you? Yeah. This was the comedy of the night, for sure. And it was so good because Tiffany then talks to the cameras right after and, and, you know, really re re reacts to the fact that she just spilled the beef, which is pretty funny as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, she's, I mean, she's like, uh, man, I just, I, she's brought Hannah in so much in the last week that, uh, she just forgot that Hannah's not a part of all of her things. Um, right. So, uh, so the big conversation of the night is Derek and Tiffany here. Um, and, uh, they, they started off by talking about, uh, X. He says, uh, Derek says he, he would love to set something up with X this week still does not have really a, a relationship with him um and tiff even suggests like well you could set something up with just like you kai and x um like that could be uh like be like an interesting thing for you um and this is something that tiffany does that i that i i think is it's it's kind of playing with fire but i i think if you do it right it can be really uh really useful she really she boring. suggests that people get close to each other that and not her, essentially. Like, uh, like she told Hannah and Derek X to like get together, essentially. Um, like she's not in that alliance per se, but she's getting information from both of them separately. Uh, and she's involved because she kind of set it up. She's telling Derek X like you can make a you know a three person thing with Kai and X, knowing that she'll probably be able to get information from X about this, uh, and probably be able to compare notes about what Kai is telling her and what Derek is telling her. Um, and, uh, and as long as she keeps this, <laughs> as long as she stays close enough to every member of the, the grouping that she's, uh, suggesting, um, that she can maintain a level oh, of, uh, sort of control command. and keep an eye on it, um, because she knows it's happening rather than it happening without no. her knowing it's happening. Uh, it but it is, uh, like I said, playing with fire because, be uh, you know, you never want to suggest people work with each other that don't think with you and that could eventually be the real thing, but... So far, it's been working out for you. Oh, great. Hey, you are... Call me Melissa. No oh, shit. <laughs> um, no, so, so what I like about this, honestly, is that um, I find that it makes it seem like she's approaching them as a friend. Oh, I don't right? imagine like, I'm that... looking out for you. These are things you could do. And this is going to end it well. It like she's self-interested at all. But when you're getting all the information, you don't need to be in the, the black box. It's ready. Everywhere, and I think that's a perfect place to be, because ultimately later, when you look at Sabrina, right. she's not in everything, which is a good thing for her as far as keeping her threat level. Now, um, now, can anyone pull this off? No, I don't think it's easy, because I think if you push people into a certain direction and then they buddy up, they might cut you out. But again, when you're pushing them towards two other people that you have decent relationships with and you will get all the information regardless, why not? It's a win-win situation for Tiffany, and I love that she's able to pull that off. So, uh, uh, she's gonna tell Derek about the, like, Hannah approaching her about Royal Flush. Uh, they, they talk it over. They think, they think they're fine. Um, they talk about, uh, how X said he didn't want them to, him to nominate any kings. Um, this is something Tiffany talked to the cameras about. She's a little concerned about it, but, uh, she probably thinks that it was just him trying to cover. Um, and, uh, they talk about, they talk about Hannah, um, and, uh, like, should they really bring her in? Do they feel like she's good with this new information about the Royal Flush? Um, like it's time to help Tiffany says she trusts Hannah because, uh, while Hannah might be easily shaken in the moment, she comes back very quickly, um, and she's back about game. Whereas somebody so like Azza, you tell her something, and she just stays in her emotions for days, like, she just can't uh, process it. Uh, she feels like Hannah is just a much stronger person uh, in that oh, regard. Um, and I'll Derek says, I get that, but right, um, Hannah does have an here. issue Wait where here. She, she doesn't on. always ask the right questions. Uh, she doesn't always see things very well. Uh, she doesn't have great reads. Um, he's, he talks about, like, basically the fact that she, um, so, you know, that, that she uh, was so adamant about the fact that